Hi, I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and today we're going to be making one of Unisub's latest creations, which is the Chromalux Connections. What this is, is it's several pieces of Chromalux. You can do large or small. And what we're going to do is when you hang it up on your wall, you can do, you can either make one large picture and have it several different pieces, or what we're going to do today is we have like a family portrait here, and then we're going to do smaller pieces of our Chromalux, and we're going to do each child's face on a separate piece of Chromalux. It's going to look great. And so let's get started on this project. What I've done first is I brought three pieces of Chromalux with me. On my transfer, you notice that I have three individual images. I have a couple of sheets of protected paper and some heat tape. What I'm going to do first is remove the protective film on each piece of my Chromalux. I'm going to peel back on each corner. The nice thing about Chromalux is that they have slightly rounded corners. They're not very sharp. They're at a 1 8 inch radius cut. This gives it a nice smooth edging. And once I have all my protective film removed, place each tile over my individual portraits. And we'll go back individually, line them up in the center, place a couple pieces of heat tape down, secure each one. Do the same thing with all three tiles. You know, once our tiles are in place, we're going to move to our press. So I have it heated to 400 degrees. Place a sheet of protective paper on the bottom of my press. Grab my pieces of Chromalux, flip them so my image is facing down. One of the best things about doing the connections from UNICEF is that you can do larger, uh, larger imaging with just doing several different tiles. So you'll notice we're using a smaller press today. If you don't have a larger press, you can still make a bigger image on your wall and it will still turn out just as great. I have my pressure set at medium and I'm pressing it for 60 seconds. And that sound means we're done. So I'm gonna lift up on my press. It's important that we remove our transfer right away, but since the Chromalux is metal, it's going to be very hot, so be sure to be very careful. Move these to a nice flat surface. I'll give those probably about a minute to cool because they are very, very hot. Now that my tiles have cooled, I've put them in a way that you can see just how these connections are going to look with the Unisub Chromalux connectors. It's a neat idea that you can do, once again, you can do it on a smaller press and just use smaller Chromalux pieces, or you can do a larger Chromalux if you have a larger press at home. Uh, also take advantage of our printing services because they can press bigger pieces if you do not have the equipment to do so. You'll want to check out, I did a video on all of the mounting. There's different ways you can mount these. Uh, the shadow boxes are probably the easiest. They'll make it look like it's floating off your wall. Some really cool effects there. So you want to be sure to contact your Condi agent to learn more. Check out our website at Condi.com for all of our products and services. And watch more of my videos at Conditv.com. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.